What up, my Virgos? We're going to be tapping into your energy, Virgo. I've already shown up for this, and you already know what it is. So let's just begin. We're going to be seeing what is the most heaviest thing in your energy, which is, let's just see what's going to come out. All right. I would like to thank everybody for the likes, comments, subscribes, um, booking personal reading with me, and being here and coming back to my channel. Bottom of the deck, we have the Ten of Pen, all right? Ten of Pentacles, um, financial stability, inheritance, a large sum of money. This is surrounding you, Virgo. The moon card, it's hidden from you at this time. The Empress, you're about to be very successful. You're about to be very abundant, all right? Prosperity is about to be coming in for you. Three of Wands, this is coming in. This is expansion. This is the future. Judgment. And the Page of Swords. All right, something could be calling you to be taking um, action at this time or take the action to rest until the sun card, the ace of swords, until this happiness, until the success comes in. This is a time for um, resting, taking care of you, rejuvenation, I heard. It's a time of rejuvenation. So whether that means taking a break from the outside life to focus on your finances or whether that means to take um, a step back from your social life to work on your mental health, your whatever that may pertain to you, there's a need to step back and rejuvenate something, okay? A heavy energy around Virgo. Let's see. The heaviest energy around you is whoa. Well, we have the most difficult part of a situation is over. And then if you saw separation came out. I don't know where it went. Um separation came out. So you could be separating from something or someone. The most difficult part of a situation is over. That's the energy around you. All right, let's see what comes out here. You will be receiving a precious gift. What is the heaviest energy around Virgo at this time? Heavy on the receiving gifts. Heavy on the abundance. Heavy on the gifts. Um, financial stability. All right, we have depression, anxiety, worry that someone is working against you. What is the energy surrounding Virgo? July and in need of assistance and guidance a cancer could be in need of assistance or in guidance or gemini leo maybe dark woman dealing a relationship with a dark woman tell me about this gift all right it fell on the ground Okay, vacation. Whatever gifts you'll be receiving um, will put you in this peaceful vacation energy. You may go on a vacation, you may be receiving an invitation to a vacation here, Virgo. All right, somebody is in need of help, guidance, and assistance. Okay, this could be a woman. Um, I feel like the energy around you, the heaviest energy around you is depression, anxiety, and worry that somebody is working against you. So Virgo, you could be worried about the people who are preying on you at the time that you are feeling very low right now. Spirit wants you to know your energy is surrounded by receiving, receiving and help. Okay, we have abundance, wow, for the energy surrounding you with you'll be receiving a gift. Um, the heaviest energy around you, Virgo, is you'll be receiving some type of gift, okay? This gift could be karmic blessings in your home, in your finances, in your job, in your life, all over the board here, Virgo. All right, but you may be waiting for this energy. What's your energy? Secret and spiritual gel. Vulture. Okay, you could be feeling like something is working against you. It could be that you are secretly in spiritual jail or somebody is secretly in spiritual jail. We're going to have to see about that energy. We have Scorpios, Capricorn, Decoy, Capricorn up top, Worried, Karmic, Karmic Wife. Um, you could be feeling like somebody is working against you because they're secretly like this spiritual trap. 
July energy was happening in July. What will take place in July for Virgos? Whew. Whew. Baby. Okay, the temperature just went up. Um, there's going to be some type of divine union happening for you in July. It is going to be blessings, karmic alignment. Two cards of karmic blessings and you receiving this in your energy. Okay. Who is this dark haired woman and assistance? What is this? In need of help dealing a relationship with dark haired woman or complexion. Okay, yeah, Cancer. Like I said, July. We have a Cancer incoming in incoming message and spying on you. Somebody needs your help. They're watching you. They're gonna message you. They're gonna reach out to you. Okay, you could be already helping this person. You could be living with this person. Teamwork, karmic. Wish fulfillment and detour. Use your will to say no. Energy vampire. Justice. Somebody may come in with you. Somebody may have um, gotten a relationship with um, a cancer. They may tell you about a cancer that they got in a relationship with you that fucked over their life. <laughs> and now they need your help. Uh -huh. There could also be somebody like uh, sending you stuff spying on you let's see here let's tap into the tarot so the energy is heavy around you Virgo. heavy around abundance and things changing and ending for you and transforming into a better situation and heavy on uh third party energy all right let's see what this is you will be receiving a precious gift karmic blessing oh my spiritual download is you have a secret admirer somebody has been secretly watching you um eight of coins yeah you're about to master something virgo something is about to pay off judgment in the reverse okay you're about to master something that you may not have um thought you could master or thought you could fix or mend I also feel like you're not expecting this, okay? With the Eight of Coins and the Judgment in the Reverse, this is not what you thought would come out of the situation. Ace of Coins, this is not what you thought would come out of the situation. What's the Eight of Coins? The two of swords something you're blinded to or you're gonna have to make a decision about the full card a new beginning eight of wands <clears throat> and the queen of wands six of wands all right you're about to master something that could have been like um you could have had a bad judgment call about all right, your judgment could have been off about something or someone. Let's see here. What's the judge? What was Virgo's judgment off about? The Ace of Wands and the Page of Coins. What was Virgo's judgment off about? Yeah, the Ten of Cups. Somebody you have a family with. Ten of Cups in the reverse. Somebody you had a family with. Somebody you were in a relationship. The World Card. That shit is over. All right, you thought this would turn into a family. You thought um, you would have a family with somebody. Your judgment is off, was off. With the eight of coins, you've mastered being blind to something. Okay, blindly taking a risk and moving forward. Or um, you've mastered being blind about this person. You're going to uh, start over, move forward independently here with the queen of wands. What's this energy? The king of wands and a lover enters the chat. The five of swords and the temperance card. The ace of wands and the three of cups. Okay. Defeating, winning at all costs, competition. Hmm. 
What's the five of swords? The two of cups. The temperance. Okay. Um, so there is, it's like you're going to move right into a relationship here, Virgo, with the five of swords and the temperance card. There could have been some conflict that's going to be balanced, two of cups, and then a relationship is going to happen. The strength card. Yeah. Somebody's going to be coming in. You have a new person coming in. All right. This person is going to be coming in with gifts. But first you had to, I feel like Virgo, it, in order for this to happen, you had to... Um, master some type of situation that you were caught up in. Okay. Tell me about this vulture energy. And then I didn't, I'm not going to go too far into this because I already see it in your future in July, that person coming in. Tell me about this vulture energy. Why does Virgo feel like, I just heard feel like somebody's watching me and I got no privacy. Oh, sorry about that. Tell me about this vulture energy, the magician, the two of pentacles. You feel like somebody was manifesting instability for you. Three, the full card and the three of coins. Okay, with the full card, there could have been some type of foolish collaboration. Four of coins. You're not holding back from. Page of Cups in the reverse. You could have started over, started working. Yeah, you feel like something's manifesting instability. All right. You could have had some type of new beginning. You could have started over trying to collaborate with someone, learn, um, trying to deal with someone. But with the Page of Cups in the reverse, it didn't, it didn't go well. <laughs> it wasn't a genuine offer. Yeah, the Death card, it ended. It ended here. Yep. King of Pentacles and the Queen of Pentacles. The Knight of Swords in the World card. It ended quickly. You feel like somebody's messing with relationships, your love life, your relationships, your finances, things like that. What's the secret? What's the secret? What is Virgo not seeing? What's the secret? What is Virgo not seeing? Justice. Yeah. What you're not seeing is that justice is about to take place here, Virgo, or this could be karma. The King of Cups and the Ten of Cups in the reverse. The Two of Cups, the Sun card. What's the justice? The Nine of Cups satisfaction so yeah so this is good justice justice is upright player with the nine of cups and the page of swords this is good news for you virgo whatever justice is coming in is good for you so secretly justice could be happening to get your um it's like to balance out things to make you happy three of swords and the sin of swords yeah because there was some type of betrayal Something hurts you. Somebody hurts you, caused you a lot of pain. The Three of Swords and the Ten of Swords. Yeah, something's changing. The the Three of Swords and the Ten of Swords, you are in a lot of pain, grief. This was betrayals. This was deep wounds. This was scars, Virgo. Yeah, but you're about to receive something. The Wheel of Fortune, things are changing. Blocking some type of work. Hmm. What's the Three of Swords and the Ten of Swords? Ace of Swords. What is the Three of Swords and the Ten of Swords? Ace of Swords, which you're having a breakthrough in. You're having a breakthrough in some type of pain, some type of uh, a grief, something you were going through where you felt like people, places, entities, things were working against you. Everything was going bad, Virgo. You're like, am I secretly in spiritual jail? No, the secret is that justice is about to come in. You're about to be vindicated. We have the devil in the star card here. With the three of wands, I feel like it's the energy of healing something toxic, um, healing a contract, the ending of a contract, a good omen, um, having a breakthrough in something toxic and healing something and turning your back is the energy. And that's when justice can come in. What's the spiritual jail energy? 
What's the spiritual gel energy? We have the Eight of Cups, yeah. Um, the spiritual jail, what was keeping you captive? That's why you felt like you were going through karma. This was spiritual jail. You felt like you were trapped here. So you kept returning to someone or somebody kept returning to you. We have the Queen of Wands in the reverse. The Two of Wands in the Knight of Cups. The Ace of Wands and the Queen of Cups. What? Uh, the King of Swords and the Two of Pentacles. Somebody was juggling you, Virgo. Yeah, the King of Cups and the Lovers. Okay. So, you're feeling like people were coming against you, but secretly, um, justice was, you're going to get your justice, vindication, things are being healed after a painful situation for you. That's the secret. That's what people don't know is that you will win in the end of this. Um, somebody who was juggling you, this person returned back from the past or returned to a karmic while they were fucking you, while they were dating you. Um, this person was juggling lovers here and that's why they're in spiritual jail. That's why they will go to spiritual jail. This person doesn't know it, but they're on their way to spiritual jail. Whoever this masculine is who was juggling you or feminine take it as it resonates here what does virgo need to know about this divine union energy um people will get karma for exactly what they did to you you feel like people were working against you it's because they fucking were virgo you had somebody who was lying to you while dating you here you had people um secretly stabbing you in the back um, hurting you right keeping secrets from you What's this divine union and unexpected blessing in July for the Virgo? What is this divine union and unexpected blessing for Virgo? We have the Wheel of Fortune in the reverse. Okay. And then the Four of Wands. The Wheel of Fortune in the reverse talks about... Um, bad karma bad events bad things happening not fortunate things happening the wheel of fortune in the reverse and the ten of wands the nine of wands releasing some type of burden and stress somebody's very unhappy here the magician the death card, the strength card, and the ace of cups. Virgo, somebody was trying to hold you back from this love. Yeah. With the wheel of fortune in the reverse, something did not work. It's like something didn't go someone's way. Something, Somebody didn't change something. Ten of wands and the nine of wands, something's resilient. Something's released. Even though someone was resilient, it didn't work. The sun card. They did not succeed. They're unhappy. This person, whatever they're manifesting, is dead. All right? Somebody was trying to, like, hold you back or manifest something in your energy, hold you back from having this new love. The strength card with the Ace of Swords. I mean, the Ace of Cups. Yeah, there's a lover here, Virgo. You're moving right into a new love. You master something. You're blocking a past lover out. You're having a new beginning. You're healing yourself. And this is going to lead right into... A new love. Be the Empress and the Emperor. Okay? Someone's going to be very mad about this when they find out about it, Virgo. Okay. <laughs> Baby, tell me about this unexpected blessing. There's going to be new love coming in even after people try to hold you back from it, Virgo. I feel like once this love is coming in, there's going to be people who are going to be hating and trying to hold you back from it as well 444 could be very significant you can be seeing 444 all the time and 11s 1122 1133 1111 what's this unexpected blessing the four of wands marriage celebration happiness home here a new home a new life king of pentacles the Seven of Swords, the Queen of Cups. Yeah. 
in the seven of wands. Okay, you're going to be celebrating here, Virgo. You're going to be celebrating something. Okay, we have the king of coins and the seven of swords. Somebody could be acting very strategic because you could be, your love could be very blocked off at this time. You'd be very guarded, Virgo. The emperor and the three of swords. This person could also have a broken heart here. Page of swords and the two of wands, but they made their decision. We have the emperor, empress in the reverse. The page of cups in the reverse. Somebody made their decision because something that they went towards wasn't fruitful, wasn't real. The Wheel of Fortune in the reverse. Yeah, this was an unfortunate event that this person had to go through in order for the falseness to be shown here. Okay. Unexpected blessings is going to be some type of marriage or celebration that you will be indulging in with someone, Virgo. After a heartbreak, after um, guarding yourself against someone that you know is not uh, abundant for you. With the Wheel of Fortune in the reverse, this is like a karmic energy. And I feel like this person is going to keep trying even though it's they're unsuccessful. Right. Once this is an illuminated, once somebody sees your blessings, once something comes in, once you're in line with something, you do have people from your past that are going to be coming back around. What should Virgo know about this divine union and unexpected blessing? What should Virgo know about this divine union and unexpected blessing? We have the five of swords and the three of coins. I can't make this up. There's going to be competition. There's going to be people trying to win at all costs. There's going to be people trying to defeat you. Three of coins. There's going to be people teaming up and collaborating to try to defeat, conflict. The empress in the reverse. They don't want this to be fruitful. Nobody wants this to be fruitful for you. The full card. Nobody wants you to have a fruitful beginning, Virgo. Knight of Coins. People are going to be dedicated to trying to slow this down. Slow you down from taking action towards your blessings. Wow. 25.05 when I saw that. Okay. Know that people are going to be trying to stop this. That's how you know it's a good blessing. When the hoes are mad, Virgo. <laughs> when the hoes are mad. Um, who's this Cancer for Virgo? Who's this Cancer for Virgo? You could have had a, a turbulent relationship with your mother. I could have messed you up here. Your mother could be a water sign. <clears throat> um, the Knight of Swords and the Knight of Cups. The Knight of Swords and the Knight of Cups. An impulsive date. Knight of Coins. And the tower in the reverse. Okay. Let's see here. Let's ask that again. Who is this person? What is the relationship of this Cancer to Virgo? What is this relationship to Cancer? Of this Cancer and Virgo? So you're getting a message from a Cancer. Five of Wands. This person is conflict with you. Com yeah. All right, this is somebody who hates you. A rival, they want to fight you. Nine of Cups. Two of Swords. It's almost like this is somebody competing with you getting your satisfaction. You, your happiness. Somebody's competing with your happiness. Eight of Wands and Seven of Cups. This is someone here who's trying to stop someone's forward movement. Who's forward movement? Who are they trying to stop? Um, who's this feminine trying to stop the king of coins? Yeah. Okay. There is a masculine in your energy that I feel like you don't give a fuck about, Virgo. Um, 
y'all i'm sorry <laughs> um there's somebody in your energy okay there's a masculine who has a feminine attached to them all right they're going to be telling you about how this feminine put them in some type of illusion and fucked over your life they're going to be asking for help for you in the future your guidance here all that they're going to be begging somebody's going to get fucked over um by a cancer the same way that they fucked over you virgo and now they're spying on you watching you trying to gather information about you because they need help okay um, some masculine's gonna get their ass beat by a karmic um, and then they're gonna come running back to you and, and asking you for help all right facts what is virgo being led to do when this person comes and asks for help we have the sun card in the reverse turn them down don't help them this is a karma period do not be warm with this person. Yeah, Empress in the reverse. This, is, this person was jealous. They were mad. They were a uh, karmic in your life here. Six of Wands, the Emperor in the reverse, and the Eight of Swords. Somebody was a karmic in your life here. They're misfortune. They're unfortunate. And they see you over here successful. They see you over here shining. And they're going to be wanting to dictate, dominate. They want to get in on this. They lost their power here, Virgo, and they're trapped. They're stuck in the spiritual jail. Yeah, we saw that. We saw this motherfucker. The same motherfucking spiritual jail here is going to come back around when needing your help in the future. Ain't that crazy? Mm, real crazy. This is the heaviest energy around you, Virgo. This is what you need to be aware of at this time. Blessings are about to be raining from the ceiling, honey. You feel like people are working against you because they are. Um, and you're about to be blessed beyond your wildest imagination. Blessed so highly that the people who you left behind was going to come back around and be begging for your help all right that's what i got here for you virgo if you resonated with anything here please give me a like comment down below subscribe to the channel to see what's coming up next with virgos y'all already know i'm very grateful and thankful for everybody watching peace